Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for an excuse to use this area right here, so now I found it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out. This is the first, first high school invitation honor band. We just performed Fanfare for the Third Planet by Richard Saucedo. Give these guys and gals another round of applause. told them that, I'll tell you that, and we have just enjoyed it. But I'm not going to talk too much because I want you to hear what they've been working hard on. I want to introduce our guest clinician, a very dear friend of mine. We started teaching years ago in South Georgia, neighboring counties, uh, and we were just doing the high school band director thing, trying to find our way through, and we just made a great, great friendship. He's from the University of Kansas City, Missouri Conservatory of Music. Outstanding trumpet player, outstanding music educator. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Dr. Joe Parisi. So that piece, 
Uh, you don't have names of the program and everything. That means they didn't have it until yesterday, isn't that right? I didn't. I just brought it with me. It's called April by Aaron Curry. Very pretty music, and uh, he is a delightful composer. Who is, that's all he does. He writes music, and he writes for Wind Band exclusively. So I was delighted to share it with him. It's the only second time I've done it, and the, uh, the last time I did it, I had three harps in the group. Now imagine the set of piano. You don't see that every day. Uh, the next piece you're going to hear is from an iconic work for a wind band called Lincolnshire Posey. This is the last movement. It is called Lost Lady Found. It's the story of a lady who goes off and they think that her uncle killed her. So they're about to kill him and cut his head off. And yet, her, it's a typical soap opera, right? So her, her loved one goes out to search for her and ends up finding her just in time to save the uncle's life from being beheaded. Now the interesting thing is, at the end of the song, the bass drum hits really strongly, so it makes me think, maybe they didn't get there in time, because it sounds like his head started rolling down the halfway. I don't know, but I tell you what, we've had a good time putting it together, and I'm really proud of their work. And as Mr. Farmer said, we have had a little bit too much of a good time, the two of us. We go back over 20 some odd years. Uh, I told your kids to tell you what they loved about this experience today, and especially what they loved about music. Hopefully they saw how much we love it, because we have a friendship from that. So when you get them home, ask them what they loved about it and why they love music, and make sure it's not a one-word answer. No. Well, did you like today? You. Yeah. How'd you like it? Good. What was your favorite part? Music. So, no one-word answers, right? No one-word answers. Okay, thank you. Lost Lady Bob. We'll see if we can find it.
to our next piece is by Mr. Lord's titled Conquest. I want you to think about this from a storyline when, and I know we've all seen Lord of the Rings, uh, probably some of the, the various movies where any of the Harry Potter stuff, you're out on a conquest for just, just whatever, to try and get away, and there's an epic battle, things of that nature. So this piece depicts all of that. And I just want to take an opportunity to say that these students have really done a lot with this, putting emotion into it. And I've told students from the beginning um, today that my philosophy of music education is that music is co-curricular. It reinforces everything within the core curriculum of school. But the one thing that it cannot replicate is emotion and expression. And these students up here great personalities and they do a wonderful job of expressing. And I want to thank the parents for supporting your students with music because we have a common love and a common interest here. And I told them that if the world was run by band students, the world would be a better place. It really, really would. But I want you guys to give yourselves a hand for raising such lovely young ladies and young men up here. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. We cannot have good bands without good band parents. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be a part of this. And I thank you for supporting them. And thank you for supporting this institution to do this honor band. But without further ado, this is Conquest by Mark Force.
while close to the sun, you may think it's a reference to Icarus, and it loosely is. However, the composer of this, Pete Deacon, a friend of mine, wrote it because as a kid he could remember the last album that Queen recorded after Freddie Mercury died. Any trivia buffs out there know the, the, the name of the song that this refers to? Only the Good Die Young from Queen. So he was a huge Freddie Mercury fan, and so this piece is very thoughtful and patient and uh, really asks a lot from them. You'll hear what we call some crunchy harmonies that I imagine would be the anger that he felt or the sadness when an icon like that, I guess that is influential in your life, passes away. I know that's been pretty significant lately with the passing of someone like Kobe Bryant, those people who are larger than life. And so I imagine that's very impactful on someone who looks up to those people. Pete has uh, started his life in England and now is a composer who lives in Canada, but he's been all over the world with his music being played everywhere. And this is probably only maybe the fifth performance of this piece. So I hope you enjoy Close to the Sun. And then we're going to end, of course, with a, a march, Allied Arms. So our last two pieces, again, thank you. Thank you to Mr. Farmer for trusting me to come out here and be the inaugural guest clinician. I can't tell you how much it has meant to me to spend time with him, who's a dear colleague, and then with your, your, your kids and your students to the band directors. Regardless of what you believe, who you support, all that goes away when we get to make music together. So thank you. Don't forget to ask them the question what, what they enjoy and why they love music. Thank you so much.